Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi MS Semantics. Today we have a very interesting question from entrance examination 2 to the x plus x equal to 20 and we need to find our x. If you have your answer or your solution, you can also write your solution down into the comment section and in a few minutes we will check your answer. Just trust me, this is a very tricky question and right now I'm going to I'm going to solve it. First of all, I show you this really interesting step. Let's write this x on the right side with the negative sign. So as a result we have 2 to the power x equal to 20 20 minus x. This is our first this is our first step. And right now let's change position a little bit. Okay, let's write this one on the left side for better understanding. This one on the right side. We can easily do this because we have equal sign. So we have 20 minus x on the on the left side and 2 to the power x on the on the right side. So I really hope you you understand this step. Right now let's divide both sides by 2 to the power x. Okay, let's divide it by 2 to the power x. What do we have as a result? Let's do this right now. So we have 20 minus x on the left side. We're gonna divide it by 2 to the power x. Okay. And we have 2 to the power x dividing by 2 to the power x on the on the right side. If you look closely of our expression on the left side, on the right side, we can easily cancel this and as a result we have 1 on the right side. Everything is great. And uh, right now let's look closely at our left side. We have right here another denominator 2 to the power x, but we need to know a really interesting property. Whenever we have expression, for example, a to the power b in our numerator, we can easily write it in our in our denominator, of course, yeah, we have right here in our denominator, but when we want to write it in our numerator, we need to put minus in our power. So we have a to the power minus b when we want to bring it from our denominator to numerator. And right now let's write it in not 2 to the x, but 2 to the minus x in our numerator. Okay, let's do this. So we have 20 minus x, don't forget about parentheses, because this is our numerator, we need to group it, and times 2 to the power minus x equal to equal to 1. So I really hope you understand understand this step. Right now I'm going to show you a few really interesting tricks. I'm going to apply Lambert W function in a few steps, but first of all we need to prepare our function for applying Lambert W. Uh, we need to prepare our expression for applying Lambert W function. First of all I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to the power 20, okay? 2 to the power to the power 20. What do we have as a result? We will have 20 minus x, okay? We will have 20 minus x, and right now let's write this 2 to the power 20 because I am multiplying both sides by this 2 to the power 20. So times 2 to the power 20. The next thing we have 2 to the power minus x, okay, times 2 to the power minus x and equal to 1 times 2 to the power 2 to the power 20. Okay, so we just multiply both sides by, by 2 to the power 20. Right now, when we have the same base but different powers but multiplication, we need to add our powers, okay? We need to add it. So as a result we can write it as 20 minus x yeah, 20 minus x times 2 to the power 20 minus x, okay, 20 minus x equal to 2 to the power to the power 20. So I hope you understand this step. We just add our powers because we have because we have multiplication. And right now, few really important steps. I'm going to multiply. Uh, right now, I'm going to multiply. I'm going to prepare this function, uh, this expression at first. But before, I'm going to show you a few words about Lambert W function. For example, we have expression which looks like that. So we have a times e to the power a. Whenever we have expression and we apply Lambert W function to this expression, we have only our a on the right side. And for example, real quick, for for example, we have 2 times e to the power 2. Whenever we have a Lambert W function of this expression, we have we have 2, so we have only our a. So first of all, we need to have the same expression right here as a power of e, and we have we need to have the same expression before this uh, before this e. Okay? And right now let's look closely what do we have in our in our case. We have 20 minus x, we have 20 minus x. It looks like a great expression because we have the same right here and the same right here, but this is not e. How can we create e instead of this 2? Let's use really import, important, not like some substitution, but let's change it, okay? So we can change this 2 by, by e to the power natural log 2. Okay, so instead of this 2, let's write this, e to the power natural log 2, which is absolutely the same thing. e, natural log e, we can easily cancel, and as a result we have only 2. Okay, so let's start, for example, right here at this point. So we have 20 minus x, 20 minus x, times, instead of 2, I'm going to write this one, e to the power natural log 2, e to the power natural log 2, and we're going to raise these to the power 20 minus x. 20 minus x equal to 2 to the power 20. So I hope you understand it. I just changed this 2 by e to the power natural log 2. What are we going to do next? If we have this, this uh, raising, if we raise this uh, to the power like that, so when we have a to the power x raised to the power y, we need to multiply it, a to the power x times y. So we can multiply natural log 2 by this expression. Let's do this right now. So we have 20 minus x in the beginning, so the same beginning, yeah? 
20 minus x times e to the power natural log 2 times this one. So natural log 2 times times this expression 20 minus x and equal to 2 to the power 20. Right now let's look closely what do we have. We need to have e and we need to have the same expression on both sides. We have e, we do have e right here, but we have 20 minus x right here and we have nature look 2 times 20 minus x. So it's not the same expression and for uh, for having the same expression we need to multiply both sides by nature look 2. When we multiply both sides by nature look 2 right here, when we multiply it we have so nature look 2 times 20 minus x in the beginning. Yeah, we're going to multiply it by natural log 2 times e to the power natural log 2. This one will leave the same, so 20 minus x and equal to 2 to the power 20 times natural log natural log 2. So what we did before, we just multiplied both sides by natural log 2. This one by natural log 2 and this one by natural log 2. And right now let's look closely at the trickiest moment right now because we have natural log 2 times 20 minus x. For example, this is our a. We have the same natural log 2 times 20 minus x. This is also our a. And if you look closely, we have a times e to the power a, the structure that we really need. And right now we can easily apply Lambert W function to this left, left side. Let's do this right now. So we're going to apply Lambert W function on the left side. So Lambert W function of natural log 2 times 20 minus x times e to the power natural log 2 times 20 minus x and of course don't forget about right side okay we're gonna apply on the right side as well equal to Lambert W function of 2 to the power 20 times natural log natural log 2. Okay, this is our a natural log 2 20 minus x. This is also our a natural log 2 20 minus x. And when we apply this Lambert double the function of this expression, we have only our, our a. So on the left side, we have only natural log 2 times 20 minus x. 20 minus x. And it simplifies us a lot. Yeah, we have this expression right here. Of course, equal to uh, Lambert W function of this constant. Lambert W function of 2 to the power 20 times natural log natural log 2. But we need to find our x. So let's step by step, let's get closer and closer to our x. First of all, instead of this 2 to the power 20, I recommend you to write instead of this 2 to the power 20, I'm going to write 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power 2 to the power 16. Let's do this right now. So as a result on the left side we have natural log 2 times 20 minus x on the left side. On the right side we have Lambert W function of instead of this 2 to the power 20 I'm going to write this one 2 to the power 4 uh, 2 to the power 4 but on the second position let's write this natural log 2 okay so natural log 2 of course and of course this 2 to the power 16. I just want to write this natural log 2 between these 2 to the 16 and 2 to the 4. So times 2 to the power, 2 to the power 16. Okay, really great. Right now, tricky moment, we're gonna, uh, instead of this 2 to the power 16, we're gonna write, so instead 2 to the power 16, we're gonna write, instead of this 2, first of all, yeah, we're gonna write e to the power natural log 2. And of course, we have 2 to the power 16, so we need to raise this to the power 16. So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write, instead of this 2, I'm gonna write e to the power natural log 2, the same step as we did before. Yeah, we have this step right here. Instead of 2, we're gonna write e to the power natural log 2. Okay, let's do this. So we have natural log 2 times 20 minus x, 20 minus x, equal to Lambert W function of 2 to the power 4 equal to 16. We can easily raise this time natural log 2, natural log 2, and times, instead of this 2 to the 16, we're going to write this one, e to the power natural log 2, and of course raise to the power, to the power 16. Really great, to the power 16. Okay, I hope you understand it. It's nothing hard. Instead of this 2, I'm going to write this one, e to the power natural log 2, the same step as we did uh, did before. So yeah, let's continue. Let's look closely at our right side. So left side, I leave like that. So natural log 2, 20 minus x. And on the right side, we have, what do we have right here? Lambert W function of, we have right here 16 times natural log 2 times e to the power. We're going to multiply it. So uh, e to the power 16 times natural log, natural log 2. And right now let's look closely. What do we have in our Lambert W function uh, expression? So we have right here 16 times natural log 2, for example, this is our b. And we have the same, 16 times natural log 2, this is also our b. So we have expression look like Lambert W function of b times e to the power b. And of course, this is equal to b according to the same algorithm as we did, as we did before. So as a result, what do we have? Natural log 2 times 20 minus x 
equal to instead of this one we have only 16 times nature log nature log 2 and right now i this is like the greatest moment i really like this moment because after all these complicated calculations we have right here a lot of lines like i guess three four five six seven eight nine like we have maybe 15 lines we have a really great expression really pleasant expression i'm really happy to see this expression because we're gonna cancel nature log 2 we're gonna cancel nature log 2 and as a result we have we have 20 minus x equal to equal to 16 and from here our x is equal to of course equal to equal to 4 and you know this is a great question i really like this question so much because after all these complicated lines with lambda w function with factoring with creating with multiplying both sides we have our answer x equal to 4 and maybe i can agree with you because this question it's not that hard like to solve this by inspection so we have 2 to the x plus x equal to equal to 20 you know maybe a lot of students can solve this by inspection but inspection is not a solution to be honest inspection is like to check your your root real quick and in, in, with the inspection method you can check this root real quick and obviously maybe like 90 percent of students try to try to guess like x equal to one no x equal to two x equal to three x equal to four yeah works perfectly but what about solution you have to know it if you if you prepare for your exam just learn this solution this is extremely important part inspection is not a Method. it's really weird when you say okay to the x plus x equal to 20 then i guess okay 2 to the power 4 plus 4 equal to 20 yeah x equal to 4 this is absolutely absolutely correct this is weird just trust me this is weird to solve this question in three lines if you prepare for your exam you can easily see this full solution which is which is great i guess i really enjoyed this uh, question really enjoy this solution with lambert w function so our answer to this question x equal to 4 you can easily see right now a graph you can see this point of intersection which is really a great thing to see this from geometric perspective this is my solution to this question i really hope you enjoyed i really hope you learned something new i really hope you understand my explanation if you don't understand you can easily write your notes down into the comment section write your solution down into the comment section and wish you all the best in life take care of yourself take care of, of your family have a great day see you in the next videos and yeah thank you for watching